Heyo, it's Abby, and today I have a new set of ball joint dolls from Kika Goods in Aie. I may be saying that wrong, but that's how it's spelled, and the kanji is I, and in Japanese that would be ya, but it's spelled Y-E, so I'm gonna say Aie. Aie? Let me turn the box around because there's some very cute art on the back of the dolls. I have been seeing pictures of these on my feed, and I'm really excited that we get to check them all out. I believe this one is the secret one. Let's take a closer look at the packaging. This is the display box. Look at the art. It's so cute, very hand-drawn and kind of scribble style. It looks like they all have animal ears of some sort, so let's dive in and check them out. Oh, there's a different style of art on the box. Alrighty, I think we're ready to dive in. Let's grab the first one. The art is so cute. I think this is the secret one. So, we'll see if we get to see her. Whoop. Okay, these pull tabs sometimes do not like to work. But, that does not affect the doll inside. Oh my goodness, spoilers. This bag's very pretty. Here is the first one. Oh my goodness, the eyes are so cute. She's packaged like most of the other BJDs we've gotten. She is strapped in here. Let's save her. Excuse her nude body, but you can see how the joints are articulated. They're okay. They are poseable for sure, so that's good. And I like her hair. She has pigtails. And I really love her eyes. Look at that. And her little mouth. It looks like her tongue's sticking out. But I think her mouth is just supposed to be open. Here's her little outfit. I think they're supposed to be shop assistants. Her ears and tail. Looks like the ears are magnetic. And a pair of shoes. So let's get her dressed. Let's put her skirt on. It looks like it ties in the back. I think. Yeah, that seems right. The skirt's oversized. I have it tied in the back, but if you're going to use her for like pictures and stuff, you might want to just clip it. But maybe the top will help hide that. Thankfully, the sleeves aren't tight, so her hands just go right through. Or did I speak too soon? Nope, there we go. Oh, she's cute. Okay, hold on. Ta-da! Here she is with her ears. I love that she has a floppy ear. I think she's a happy doggo, maybe? Here's her full outfit. I retied the skirt and it fits a little bit better. And then here is her tail, which the joint didn't quite fit or like go in easily. So I don't know if this is right, but if she's a doggo, she has a happy tail. As you can see, I did not put the socks on because that that's just not gonna happen. But here she is. The full outfit looks really cute. I love her eyes. I can't get over them. She almost has Nezuko like hair with the green on the tips. Very pretty. I love the braids. I think I can get her to sit here, maybe? She's a little top heavy. Maybe not. I'm very bad at posing BJDs. Hmm, maybe she doesn't sit on her skirt? Okay, maybe not. I guess the next question is, will she stand? Not with the knees like that. You can do it. She's like a newborn doll this year. Okay, I give up. This was the only card she came with. It looks like a little garden pick. It says, Taozi, or Momoko, as we read it in Japanese, peach child. We also read Momo as To there. I'm sure that comes from the Chinese reading, Tao. Taozi. This also came with it. It explains the size of the doll, which is good when you're making clothes. And then it is in black and white but schematic of tail mounting, and then her hair, and then the neck joint, which is pretty much the same as all the other BJDs we've gotten. Moving on to the second one. There's a really pretty purple one I'm excited to open. Oh, no spoilers so far. We almost saw. Ooh, white hair. Oh, I think this is the purple dress girl. Isn't she cute? There's a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, she has a big tail. I think she's a wolf, maybe? 
paper. Oh, Aji. And then here is her dress and apron. Her hair gives me Nozomi from Love Live vibes. I've noticed that lately Love Live has kind of been making a comeback. I don't know if there's like a new season or spinoff, but I've been seeing the original girls around lately. Like the Muse and Aqua girls. That makes me happy because those are my favorite. Here she is. Her tail is huge. Let's try to put it on first. I really struggled with this joint. It's, there's hair on her. It's a little bit longer than most joints and I'm just worried it's gonna snap. I'm gonna do it off camera. That's the best I can do. It looks good, I think. It's, it moves and I don't think it'll come out. Let me put her dress on. Here she is all dressed. She looks adorable in her little purple dress and apron, which keeps coming open in the back, even though there is Velcro. I think it's the tail that's kind of getting in the way. It's not quite centered. Hopefully that'll stay. There she is. She does want to T-pose. I think it is because the way her top is. Look how pretty her eyes are. She has a pouty little mouth and I love her hair and her tail. I've never seen a BJD with a tail like this. Again, we are no sock household. We will give her her ears. I think go like that. Oh my goodness, that completes her look. Definitely my favorite so far. You know what? With her tail to balance her out, she might actually sit. I don't dare bend her knees though. Alrighty, number three. I want that one. I also like the green on this one. It's very pretty. Oh, I saw a little bit of orange. It's the yellow haired one. Oh, she's cute. Kind of funny, but I said this one reminded me of Nezuko with her hair colors. This one reminds me of Zenitsu or Rengoku. I don't know. But like the yellow to orange. It's honestly the perfect gradient. She has a bow. Look at this. I think she's a tiger or a cheetah, maybe. What do you think? Are those stripes or dots? Here are her clothes. Socks, ew, and, oh cute, little pumpkin shorts, and a top, and an apron to go over it. Let me get her dressed. Ta -da! I should have shown you guys without the apron because the little pants are so cute. The sleeves are a bit long, but I think you can scrunch them up like that, and they look actually pretty cute. And here she is with her ears. They look really cute. And shoes. I didn't put the tail on. There is a hole in the apron here, but there wasn't really in the shorts. So I think it would work. You just have to pull the shorts down a little bit. But I didn't bother because she looks cute just like that. I like this one. You guys know I usually don't go for oranges, but I don't know. I really like the pants. First of all, I think the shorts are cute. But just the overall look of this one. Very nice. No! Okay, lay down. Anyway, this one's called Luo 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 Luo. I'm gonna move this one over here. Three more to go. We have the green one, blue one, and then the white and brown, tan and brown. Let's see. We could get the secret one. We could. We are not giving up hope yet. Black shoes. Oh. I think this is the brown. Is this a cat? I think it's a cat. Maybe like a Siamese kitty? Or like a rag doll. Let's see who we've got. Oh, she has cute pigtails. Oh, I love her face. Oh, she has a fish on her bangs. Well, let's check out the outfit. Why does it look like they're just bodies lying around? The little apron. And, oh, is this a skirt? Oh, it's a fluffy skirt, okay. And I guess this is like an apron top that goes over it. I think this is gonna look cute. Here she is, I love this outfit. Look at that flouncy, fluffy skirt. And then her little apron that goes over it. It's really cute. It does need to be like ironed down a little bit maybe, 
but I think it looks pretty good. She's definitely a little kitty girl. I love the little clip here. And then here are ears. I want to say a rag doll. Probably actually a Siamese kitty though because she has a long sleek tail which I also didn't put on because the skirt was kind of in the way. This one might be my second favorite. Her eyes are very pretty. Did you all notice that there are pandas in her eyes? Isn't that funny? And there are her pigtails. They're shaded so nicely. It says her name is Xiao Jin. Two more to go. I'm still waiting to see the blue one. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna say, let's see if I can do it with no spoilers, but nope. Here we go. Oh, she's pretty. Is this the same hair, though? I believe it is. Oh, no. It's a little bit different. This one has twists in it, and this one doesn't. And the bottom, this one kind of curls in, this one curls out. So, similar but different. Her face up is so pretty. Look at those blues. I love that. Are these supposed to be horns, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, she's a sheep girl. Look at the little sheepy. That's cute. So she gets a dark blue apron, a little skirt. So it's the same style, just different colors. And socks. We hate socks. Ta -da! Here she is. Here are her horns stuck on. Very cute. They match her hair. Her little apron dress looks cute. I do appreciate that these outfits are quite easy to put on the dolls. Big shoes. They probably wouldn't look as clunky if we put socks on, but never. I think it's the way the outfits are, but their neckline kind of does look a little bit stuffy, so if you can pull the dress down a little bit, it makes their neck look a little bit sleeker. Her name is Shouji. In Japanese, that would mean small luck, like small good fortune. Very cute. Winter vibes. Okie dokie. It is time for the last one. I'm going to assume it's going to be this one, but it could be that one. Cross your fingers and we shall find out. Also, oh my goodness guys, I ate before I filmed because I thought it would give me energy. It has put me into a food coma, so if I seem low energy, it's because I ate too much garlic bread. I saw the outfit. Ooh, that's such a pretty green. She has a seashell. Okay, I love this one too. I think this outfit's gonna be cute. I see a little mini skirt, like a little pleated skirt. Ooh, these are cute little ankle socks. They're still not going on, but... Oh, I don't know why, but this kind of gives me Peter Pan vibes. Look at the tiny belt. I love it. Okay, let me get her dressed. And here she is. I think she might be a dragon because look at her tail, don't you think? I don't know what else it could be because she has ears and then she has little horns. I love the braid on the side of her hair. I don't know. I absolutely love this outfit though. I love how it layers, how asymmetric it is. I think the bow needs to be ironed a little bit. It's very, very cute. I love it. Whoop, she's bowing. Her name is Ching Yun. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong and I'm sorry. So here are our six girls from today. They are all adorable. I love them all. I do think the purple, blue, and maybe the kitty cat one are my favorites. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments down below. I want to say a big, whoops, dropped one, big thank you to Kika Goods for sending me this set and letting me unbox and review it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in any of these girls, check them out on Kika Goods. You can buy them as single blind boxes or you can get a full set. Also, please don't forget to follow Aie, Aie, Aie. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm saying it wrong. Um, their Instagram, I'll link it down below. They show a lot of their cute, adorable products and you can see more pictures of these cute girlies. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you all in the next video.